Okay. So let's start today with our lesson, chapter seven, lesson six, which is talking about fraction multiplication. And then, as we said yesterday, fraction multiplication means we need to multiply two fractions with each other. How do I multiply the fractions? First step, I have to multiply the numerators, then I have to multiply the denominators, then I will simplify if I can. Now, look at this example here. Sasha has three over five of a scarf left tonight. If she finished half of that today. So how much of the scarf will Sasha need today? So here she have a, uh, she has a word, something to do that she have to she has to net three over five from the scarf. Half of them she did it today. So how much of, from the scarf did she net? What you will do? You have to multiply half with three over five. Now, as I told you before, when you multiply when you get two fractions, we must multiply the numerators and then the denominators. So then, where is the numerators here? One and the three, is it right? Yes. 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 And then you have to multiply the denominators, which they are two and five. And two times five, they put them together. So I will them. you have to multiply the numerator, then the denominator. Now, one over times three is? Uh, one over three. Three. And two times five? Ten. Ten. So that's mean here the product is three over ten. Is it clear? Yep. Okay. Now, here now what do we have? We have whole number. And we need to multiply the whole number with a fraction. They tell me something here. You have, you must know it. That how can you rewrite a whole number as a fraction? How? What you will do? You have to put the denominator one. Like three is whole number. How can you make it as a fraction or rewrite it as a fraction? Make the denominator zone. So it comes like three over one. In this case now, this is a fraction. Five, this is a whole number. How you make it as a, denominator, as a uh, fraction? You put it as five over what? As five over, uh, as five one. over one. If you have seven as a whole number, how you make it as a, a fraction? Seven over one. Seven over one. one. Thank you so much. And here is the sum. Here you are going to multiply four times five over 12. In order to make it easy for you, write it as four over one. When you write it as four over one, we remember that when I multiply two fractions, I have to multiply the numerators together and then the denominators together. Now then, four times five equals what? 20. 20. 20. Now, and one times 12 equals what? 12. 12. 12. Now, look at them here. Here in simplification, we have two we have two, th two things you can say. The first one, if the numerator is small and the denominator is big number, you have to simplify them as I told you yesterday. But if we have them as big number over small, you have to divide and write them as a mixed number. Now, as you see here, what do we have? We have 20 over 12. Now, 20 over 12. How can I, can I simplify it or do I have a mixed number? And simplify it to and divide. Five. We have to simplify it and we have to divide it by. 
you have to divide the gram. Let's see how. You will divide 20 over 12. How many 20 and 12? How many 12 and 20, sorry? Um, how many 12 in uh, uh, only, only one. Only one, prop. One times 12 equals 12. And the remainder is what's here? Eight. Eight. Thank you. Eight. Now, then, what do we have now? We have it as one. And eight. Over 12. So, one and eight over 12. Now, before that, here. As you see now, 8 and 12. Look at these fractions here. And in this book here, they give you an, another way, or not another way, but like, just like you have to simplify it first, then divide. So here, you must divide by 2, divide by 2, you get it as 10 over 6. Then you re re multiply it, divide it. So here in your book, you have you have two ways you can divide first then simplify or you can simplify first then divide and in both cases you will get the same answer now let's go now with your the steps here that is in your book first you have to simplify so divide by two divide by two it goes with 10 over six then you will divide 10 over six which is one times six is six the remainder is four. Um, just a minute. Just divide by four. Did you page what? Which is five over three. Four hundred uh, fifty-three, I think. So it was five over three. Now then, one times three is three, and the remainder is two. So you can write as one and two over three. So this case, we divide, then we, we simplify first, then we divide. If you want to divide it first, like this, as we said before, one and eight over 12, you can divide them by four by four, and you will get the same answer. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes, it is clear. Okay. You see? Yes. It, it is a five out of three. Um, sorry. No I don't really understand. What you didn't understand? How to simplify or how to multiply? What? Uh, like how to multiply? How to multiply? Yeah, the steps. I didn't understand. It. It's okay. I will let you now solve the second example in order to understand. Okay? Okay.
Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go to the example here. Who said that she didn't understand? Me, Hanin. Yes, Hanin. Number one. Here, what do we have? We have to multiply six times V over eight. Okay, Hanin. Okay. Now then, how you will write a whole number as a fraction? You have to make the denominator equal what? Hanin? Yes. As I told you, if you have whole number, how you write as a fraction? You will put the numerator one. The denominator one, sorry. So it comes like six over one times three over eight. Then where is the numerator here? Six and three. Six and three. Six times three equals what? Uh, equal 18. 18. And one times eight? Eight. Eight. Thank you. Now here, what do we have? The, look at the numerator. Is the numerator greater than the denominator? Yes. Yes. So what can we do? Simplify. Simplify. How you simplify it or write it as a mixed number? What you will do? What you will, what, what will you do? Divide 8 and 18. Divide 18 over 8. Thank you. How many 18 and 8? Or how many 8 and 18? 1 times 8 equals 8. 2 times 8? 16. 16. So then 18 minus 16 equals what? Equal to two. Bravo. Now, how you write eighteen over eight as a mixed number? Uh, we keep the numerator the same. Bravo. The two for the whole number and the down two. So now, thank you so much. Now look at two over eight. Can you simplify them more? Um. Yes. Two and, yes, bravo. Divide them by what? Two. By two. Two divided by two? One. And eight divided by two? Four. Four. That is the answer. That's it, honey. Is it clear? Yes. Thank you. Number two now. Who wants to answer? Um, uh, I'm Dina, teacher. I'm Dina. Yes, I'm Dina. Yes, three. Yalla. Here, what do we have? Three over eight times eight over nine. Can you repeat? Number two, we have you have three over eight times eight over nine. We're going. We're going. I may have to multiply the three uh, and the eight. Bravo, which equals what? Three multiply by eight equals twenty-four. Twenty-four, bravo. And then and we're going to multiply the eight and the nine. Nine, which is equal? Which equals seventy-two. Seventy-two. Thank you. Now look at twenty-four and seventy-two. Can you simplify them more? Can you divide them by two? 24, by two? 24 is an even number. Is an even number, but uh, but seven is not an even even no. number. Look at the ones, not the tens. All right. Yes, um, they're both even. Both we can them. simplify them. Now, 24 over two. 22 over two equal two. Okay, and two divided by two? Two divided by two, uh, one. One. Now, 72 divided by two, let's make it here. Seven divided by two. 
Seven divided by two equals. Three. Yeah, bravo. Three times two. Three times two equals two, four, six. Six. Six, bravo. Seven minus six. One. One. Then the two down. Twelve over two. Twelve over two equals. Six. Six. Oh. Yes. Okay. Then now, after you finish, look at 12 and 36. Can we simplify them more? Uh, to, yes, we can simpli simpli simplify them. Divide by what? Divide by. Uh, let's divide them by six. Uh, teacher, can I answer? Divide them by six, I think. Yes, let's divide them by six. So, like 12 over six. Yes, teacher. 12 divided by six. 12 divided by six equals two. Two. Or oh, 36 divided by six. 36 divided by six equals. Um, six. Six, bravo. Now look at two and six. Can you simplify them more? Yes. Yes. We divide by them by what? Divide them by eight. No, by two. Uh, by eight. Two divided by two. Two divided by two equals one. And six divided by two. Six divided by two equals three. Three. So the answer is one over three. Thank you so much, Dina. Can I answer? Did you finish writing now? Yeah. Another beat. Teacher, can I answer? I am gonna. I just said I want to me my lap. I want to answer just a minute, please. Let's finish writing. Yeah, I finished. Did you which page? 453. Is Rob? Hello, Bashar. Hanin, okay. Hunada is here. Huria. Huria, are you here? Huria. Yes, Huria, I'm Huria. I'm after Huria. I'm Huria. Did you, did you call me, Angela? Teacher, I am Huria. Okay, okay. Just a minute. Number three now. Two over three times twenty-seven. What you have to do? Huria? Yes. Yeah. Here, two over three times twenty-seven. First of all, how can you write 27 to be as fraction? You may what? what? First, uh, first we, we will make the two uh, multiply by uh, multiply by three. No, just a minute. Now see here, number three, you have 20 over three times 27. And 27 here, it's a whole number. Oh, you will write it as a uh, mixed number. You will put the denominator as what? Okay. Just now we will put uh, we we'll put uh, the two amount in the seven. Huria, listen to me. Here we have two over three as a fraction, and twenty-seven as a whole. Okay. How you will write the whole number 
as a fraction. Look at me here, what I told you before. If you want to write it as a fraction, you have to put the denominators what? What I did, what did I say? Are you with us? Yeah. So what did I say here? How you write a whole number as a fraction? You write we'll the, the number. We will multiply the number and we will multiply the numerators and after it we will multiply the denominators. That's how you will write a whole number as a fraction. What you will write in the denominator here? One. That's it only. Then what you have to do next? Ahuria? I'm just trying to do it. Multiply two. fractions. What you have to do first? You have to multiply the numerators or the denominators or what? Numerators. The numerators. What are the numerators here? Two and what? We multiply two and two and ten is two and uh, two and ten is seven. Two times seven. Two, two times seven equals four. Uh, equals okay. three. Equals fourteen. Two, two times two equals four. Plus one uh, equals five. Five over three times one. Three multiplied by one equals three. Three. Now fifty-four over three. Can I simplify them more? What? Can I simplify them more? Yeah. How? We will we we will we will we will make I will make a fraction. What oh, sorry? How? Make write it as a fraction. We oh, how you simplify it? We make fifty four um, um by three. Divide by yeah. Now five over three. Five over three. Okay. Yes. First, we will we we'll make the uh. Five over three, it will be one. One times three. One, okay. One with plus three equals three. Then five minus three. Five minus three equals two. Plus then seven. you will put the four down. Twenty-four divided by three. Twenty-four divided by three equals uh, to a uh, six. Eight plus eight times three. Equal, equal. Eight times it what? Twenty-four. So here, what is the answer? Will be? It will be uh, zero. No, miss. It's eighteen. Sorry, uh, it will be eighteen. Eighteen and zero over three. Zero over three, which means zero. Oh so the answer is eighteen. Be with us for here, please. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, Gina. Here. 5 over 12 times 3 over 5. What do you have to do first? We have to make... Multiply what? Have to multiply the numerators. The numerators. Which, where are the numerators? The denominators are 12 and 5, while the numerators are 3 and 5. Okay, so 3 times 5? 15. 15. And 12 times 5? 60. Now, can you simplify 15 and 60? We can simplify 15, and, but we can't simplify 60, so no. 
لا هو وي كان طبعا ديدي ريمبر ناو اف دي ار مالتيبلز اوف 5 واتس ذا فيرست ديجيت ماست بي 5 or 0 so 5 or 0 so here it can work can it work yes it will divide by what 5 by 5 by 5 then 15 over 5 a teacher what are you saying 15 divide by 5 oh yeah 3 3 60 divide by 5 12. 12, bravo. Now look at 3 and 12. Here we can still oh, simplify it by 3. Bravo. So 3 divided bravo. by 3 equals 1. It's going to be 1 out of 4. Thank you so much, Gina. It will be 1 of 3. Now, Jumara. Teacher, just a question. From where do you think the 16? 12 times 4. Uh, we multiply them. Yes. Yes, Renata. Did you finish writing? Yes, teacher. No, no, just a minute. I should push away. I finished now. Teacher, can I answer after Renata? I'm sorry. Number five. Um, John, yes, Miss. You want to run? Is this right? Yes, I'm just going to take a screenshot. Okay. And then I will uh, solve number five. Then the period will finish. So we can, you can uh, do now. continue tomorrow. Yes, Hunada. Number five here. What do you have? Uh, uh, we have uh, number nine. Five. Number five. Okay. We have uh, one out. Two multiply three out of five. Uh, we can multiply for the numerator and three multiply one equals three. And, uh, and uh, then we multiply the uh, multiply five equals ten. Ten, bravo. So the answer is three out of ten. Three out of ten. Thank you. Just a minute. Yeah, please. Hey, uh, hello, Sorry, Jumana. Lamia. Lana. Yes, I'm Lana. Yes, Lana, number six. 2 over 3 times 4 over 5. Mm -hmm. What do you have to multiply first? Mm -hmm. 2 times 3? Mm -hmm. 2 times 4, bravo. It equals what? 8. 8 over. Where's the denominator, Zana? Uh, three multiply five is equals what? Fifteen. Fifteen. Can you simplify them more? Okay. Are is eight an even number or fifteen? <coughs> Both of them are they even number? No. No. R eight is a multiple of is eight multiple of three? No. No, so we can simplify them. Thank you. Now the period is finished. I'm sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.